Finding the North Star is one of the most important first steps when it comes to navigating the night sky. In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to find the North Star so you can feel confident that you'll be able to find it when you go out and look for it tonight. I find it really fascinating how few people know how to find the North Star. And I know I shouldn't because most people nowadays live in cities that are completely bathed in light pollution, which limits the number of stars you can actually see in the night sky. Still, the night sky is a very important part of our human history, and it's also where our future is. It's important for a number of reasons, like navigation, it helps you understand your orientation around the night sky, and most importantly, being able to find the North Star is a surefire way to impress your friends when you're out camping. Wow. Before we dive into how to find the North Star, there's a couple of things that I want to touch on, including some common misconceptions about the North Star. Our current North Star is named Polaris. I did say current North Star. It actually does change over the course of a couple thousand years, but that's an entirely different conversation that we don't need to get into in this video. Next, Polaris is located in the Little Dipper. And FYI, this is not the Little Dipper. I used to think that it was the Little Dipper for the longest time when I was younger, but now I know this is the Little Dipper. And this star right here is Polaris. So if you can find it, you'll always know which way north is. And that's because as the Earth rotates, the stars appear to move, and they actually appear to move around one star in particular, the North Star. This is because Polaris is extremely close to the Earth's rotational axis. Now, a common misconception is that the North Star is the brightest star in the night sky, and it's not. Not by a long shot. Polaris is actually only the like 50th brightest star. And lastly, the North Star can only be seen in the Northern Hemisphere. So if you're close to the equator or on the Southern Hemisphere of planet Earth, sorry, you're not going to be able to see it. I can't help you there. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into how to find the North Star. Now, there's a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to go over the easiest ones. And this first one is using what's called the Big Dipper to help you find it. Using this method, the first step in finding the North Star is to locate the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is easily one of the most recognizable star patterns in the night sky, and it's extremely easy to spot during the spring and summer months. Now, once you've found the Big Dipper, you're going to look for the two stars that form the end of the bowl of the Dipper. These stars are known as the Pointer Stars. And what you're going to do to find the North Star is draw an imaginary line through these pointer stars, and this line will lead you to Polaris, the North Star. Follow the imaginary line from the pointer stars, and you'll find Polaris. And this star is actually located five times the distance between these two pointer stars, or about 25 degrees from the pointer stars. Now that's really easy to say and talk about, but when you're out there, it's a lot harder to calculate what five times the distance is or what 25 degrees is. So I got a little trick for you. When you find those two pointer stars in the bowl of the Big Dipper, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the Shaka symbol or the hang loose symbol. And the reason is because when you hold this out at arm's length, this separation is approximately 25 degrees. And that is gonna be a much easier thing to remember when you're out there. So again, step one, find the Big Dipper. Step two, find the pointer stars. Step three, Shaka bra, hang loose. Step four, boom, find it. Shaka bra. The other method that I wanted to talk about is called the Cassiopeia method. Now the Big Dipper method is by far the easiest way to find the North Star, but sometimes the Big Dipper is not always up in the night sky. It's really low or below the horizon in those fall and winter months. But Cassiopeia in those times will be high up in the sky. And so you'll be using Cassiopeia to help you find the North Star. Now, Cassiopeia looks like a three or an M or a W, whatever you think it looks like. We're going to use it to help find Polaris. So the first thing we want to do is find Cassiopeia. And one thing you'll notice is Cassiopeia is not a perfect W. W? Do we want to call it a W? Should we go with M? Let's go with W. Cassiopeia is not a perfect W. It's not symmetrical on both sides. You'll see that one has a steeper angle and another one flares out a bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw an imaginary line between the two end stars of Cassiopeia. You're going to use the side that's a bit flared out more and you're gonna draw a straight line that's perpendicular or 90 degrees from that one you just drew, and that'll take you straight to Polaris. And boom, that's it. That's how you find it using Cassiopeia. 
Finding the North Star is really easy when you know where to look, especially when you have references like the Big Dipper or Cassiopeia. As a matter of fact, using the Big Dipper or Cassiopeia to find the North Star is what's called star hopping. You're using references to help you find other stars or locations in the night sky. And this is one of the foundations of stargazing. It's hard to know and memorize everything in the sky, but you can use things like pointer stars or constellations to help you find other areas of the night sky. And so if this is your first time doing it, you're now a stargazer. Nice. So what I want you to do now is find the North Star. I want you to be able to find it. Next time you find yourself outside and the stars are out, look for the Big Dipper or look for Cassiopeia and use them to help you find the North Star. And once you find the North Star, you're never gonna forget how to locate it. It's like riding a bike, you're never gonna forget. And remember, the reason you're doing this is because of the most important thing that we talked about earlier. It's to impress your friends with your stargazing ability. So get out there, go impress your friends, show them how to find Polaris, show them that you know which way north is. Go stargaze, have fun, have a good time, and keep looking up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.